Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. When we gaze into the night sky, it often feels as though we're looking into an endless expanse of darkness. But with the Hubble Space Telescope, a keen eye can reveal the faintest of cosmic secrets. Still, sometimes, even Hubble can miss out on hidden wonders. Take, for example, a specific patch of the sky that initially appeared completely dark through Hubble's lens. But when astronomers turned their attention to the James Webb Space Telescope, something extraordinary happened. They uncovered a faint red glow which slowly revealed an elusive, ghost-like galaxy cloaked in cosmic dust. This wasn't just any galaxy, it was a hidden relic tucked away in the far reaches of the universe, revealing itself only to the most advanced technology. This discovery isn't just another distant galaxy. It marks one of the farthest, most mysterious, and most exciting galaxies ever found, providing us with a unique and tantalizing glimpse into the early universe and the process of cosmic evolution. The story behind this galaxy, Aztec C-71, is one of scientific achievement and cosmic wonder, an important piece of the puzzle in understanding how galaxies evolve over billions of years. In today's video, we're going to unravel the incredible journey that led to this groundbreaking discovery. We'll delve deep into why it's so significant and how it's changing the way we think about the universe and its evolution. Now let's get to the heart of the matter, understanding Aztec C-71. To truly appreciate this galaxy's uniqueness, we need to take a closer look at its defining characteristics. What sets it apart from the countless other galaxies scattered across the universe? To answer that, we'll focus on some key properties, its mass, luminosity, redshift, and color. These measurements give us vital clues about the galaxy's past, the environment it exists in, and what its future might look like. As we explore these attributes, we'll uncover a clearer picture of Aztec C-71 and what it can teach us about the vast universe beyond. To gather this data, astronomers use James Webb's near-infrared camera, which captures images of the sky in different wavelengths of light. By comparing the galaxy's brightness through various filters, they can determine its distance, temperature, and composition. This method, known as photometry, is a key technique for studying galaxies. The results from this process reveal that the galaxy is both massive and incredibly bright, with a mass about 50 billion times that of the Sun, and a luminosity around 500 trillion times that of the Sun. These figures are similar to some of the most extreme galaxies hidden by dust, known as submillimeter galaxies, because they emit most of their light in the submillimeter wavelength range. Photometry also showed that this galaxy is located very far away, with a redshift of approximately 5.7. This indicates that the light we're seeing was emitted when the universe was just about 1 billion years old, roughly 7% of its current age. Consequently, the galaxy appears red because its light has been stretched by the universe's expansion. In fact, this galaxy is one of the reddest discovered in the Cosmos Web Survey, which covers a vast area of the sky, about 2 square degrees, roughly 10 times the size of the full moon. Additionally, the photometry revealed that the galaxy is faint in optical and near-infrared wavelengths, the same wavelengths that Hubble and other optical telescopes observe. This suggests that the galaxy is surrounded by thick dust, which obscures much of its light, blocking it with the dust particles in its interstellar medium. The dust grains in this galaxy absorb light from the stars and then re-emitted in far-infrared and submillimeter wavelengths, ranges that telescopes like SCB2 and ALMA are designed to observe. These telescopes were the first to spot the galaxy, but they couldn't quite make out its shape or measure its redshift. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, which was able to detect the galaxy's rest frame optical light. This is the light emitted by the galaxy in the visible spectrum before it gets stretched out and redshifted by the universe's expansion. By capturing this light, Webb can uncover vital details about the galaxy's stars, like their age, chemical makeup, and how quickly new stars are forming. Webb's NIRCOM achieved this thanks to its superior sensitivity and resolution, far outstripping that of Hubble and other optical telescopes. Plus, its ability to observe in longer wavelengths allows it to peer through the dust and gather clearer information. Aztec C-71's unique properties make it an incredibly rare and intriguing galaxy, offering new challenges to our understanding of how galaxies evolve. 
One of the most mysterious aspects is why it remained hidden from optical telescopes and how it was eventually discovered by those specialized in submillimeter and far-infrared wavelengths. To get to the bottom of this mystery, we first need to understand the processes that are making this galaxy so dusty and red, and how that affects the way it looks in different types of light. The main reason for all this dust and redness is that the galaxy is going through an intense phase of star formation, also called a starburst. During a starburst, a galaxy forms stars at an incredibly fast rate, hundreds or even thousands of times faster than usual. This burst of star making can be triggered by things like galaxy mergers, gas accumulation, or other cosmic events, and it can have big effects, such as pushing out gas, enriching the space between stars, or even slowing down future star formation. In this galaxy, the starburst is creating lots of young, massive stars. These stars are extremely bright and hot, emitting a ton of ultraviolet and optical light, the kind that telescopes like Hubble can detect. But here's the catch. This light is so energetic that it heats up and ionizes the gas and dust surrounding the stars, creating thick clouds of gas and dust that completely encircle the galaxy, blocking much of the light. That's why this galaxy is invisible to optical telescopes. The gas and dust clouds don't just block the star's light, they absorb it and then re-emit it in far-infrared and submillimeter wavelengths, the very wavelengths that telescopes like CUBA2 and ALMA are designed to pick up. These longer, cooler wavelengths are much better at slipping through the gas and dust clouds surrounding the galaxy. That's why this galaxy is visible to submillimeter and far-infrared telescopes, which specialize in detecting these kinds of wavelengths. But there's another factor at play here. The expansion of the universe. The universe isn't standing still, it's constantly stretching and growing. As the universe expands, the light traveling through it gets stretched too, which means its wavelength grows longer. That's why this galaxy looks so red, because it's so far away, and the light from it has been stretched out by the universe's expansion. All of these factors together make Aztec C71 an incredibly unique and extreme galaxy, one that's really tough to detect and study. Now let's dive into how this galaxy formed, how it's evolved, and how it stacks up against other galaxies in the cosmos. One possible explanation for how this galaxy formed is through a merger between two or more smaller galaxies. When galaxies collide and merge, it's a chaotic and intense event. This merger can spark a starburst, compressing the gas and dust, and causing them to collapse into new stars. It can also create a lot of dust by destroying older stars and releasing their metals into the surrounding space. This could explain why this galaxy is so massive and luminous. Merging galaxies can combine their mass and brightness to create a much larger, more powerful galaxy. Another possibility is that this galaxy grew by accreting gas from the surrounding intergalactic space. Gas accretion happens when a galaxy draws in and absorbs gas from the vast emptiness between galaxies. This can fuel a starburst providing the necessary material to form new stars. It can also create dust, either by bringing in dust from the surrounding space or forming it from the metals created by these new stars. This process could also explain why the galaxy is so massive and bright, as the mass and energy of the accreted gas are added to the galaxy. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something fascinating today. If you did, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more exciting content like this. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to respond. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.